steer, by the way. I mean, you do see even in the chat right there, obviously the GLHF so, you know, saying no matter what happens, it's been a great series. We're having mm -hmm. fun. So that is good to see. But, you, again, you, if you're Lions, I think if you're staying green, you're having a little bit better of a time. <laughs> yeah, if you're Lions, you're probably like, oh, my God, we should have already won by now. What's going on, guys? Corrupted Disciple. Look at that. Going back with a Corrupted pick again. They, they, they're they liking that Corrupted pick here for this series especially. Yeah, the hero's pretty powerful. Strong laner, strong mid game. Yeah. I mean, he, he just does a lot of damage, and um, I don't know, he's just a good hero right now, especially with the conduit buff. He's the conduit is so hard to take off. He just I don't think anything does get rid of it in the game right now. Yeah, I don't believe so. Tempest. Off of him at least, yeah. Tempest gonna be the response right there. We haven't seen a whole lot of the keeper spawn result of that. Oh, there you go. Ophelia picked up by uh, by Stay Green. So they get their jungler of choice. They go with the Ophelia once again. So Minot's going to be having a going to be playing the Ophelia here. And now back to Lions. Again, there is that keeper option if they really want it. It just doesn't seem Lion like though. Uh, it's not really lions. Like they like to go for aggressive long lane heroes. So they that can get Jonas can score a lot of kills on. I wouldn't put it, like sure they could play keeper. It just doesn't feel like they're their kind of hero. Yeah. Put some thought into this one. Forty five seconds remaining of extra time for they determine who they're gonna pick up. Again, coming into the cycle, we're talking about Lions, no matter what happens at the end, I mean, they're still gonna be having a great result, obviously, a finished runner-up or first place even, but, because coming in there, fifth, sixth place in the first two cycles, but yeah, it's it's got a sting, man, knowing that you were even up 2 nothing against these guys, and here you are all of a sudden in the final game, so, 20 seconds, there's Wretched Hag. It's also insane to think that Warbeast has been passed up uh, the first six for, like, this entire series. Yeah. After it didn't start, I think it was picked in the first game or two, but then it just stopped being picked. That's true. That, yeah. When the hero's been banned, like almost every single game I've played in like the past two weeks, mm -hmm. <laughs> he is banned quite often. So <laughs> we'll see if uh, we'll see if he gets banned here. That's what he usually is banned at, at this game, at this series at least. Four of that first ban from Stay Green. So again, making the point they don't want to have to deal with an M4 factor. Keeper, the response from Lions. Don't want to give it to Stay Green, especially if they're not interested in running it. There's Bubbles. Jonas and Fan again. They needed Jonas and Fan to have a hell of a performance. So you you think back to the starting of that game and how how of an awkward of a start it was once again, just with the laning phase and how both teams were struggling in several places. And you had a very underleveled Ophelia. You had Moon Queen that got absolutely nothing. But uh, but Bubbles, Donuts Fan came through. So does Winamon's on Rally. He made a couple mistakes early on in terms of gank attempts, and that definitely hurt them. But it was an awkward game. It was definitely an awkward game at the beginning. Yeah, it was strange. Like, yeah, he had a, like, literally a support Ophelia yeah. who wasn't farming jungle, just ganking with his uh, creeps. Mm -hmm. and... But in the end, SG came out on top, and that's why we're here. Fade is the final ban. So, uh, anything glaring to you right off the bat? Uh, well, he banned Stone of Melons banned Warby, so it's pretty clear that they're going to pick well, put Lodestone in the suicide lane. They don't intend to pick it. They have the first pick they could, but um, they just don't want to give it to Lions, even though it's not really a Lions hero. Letting that hero slip through the second phase is just uh, pretty dangerous, even if uh, it's a hero they don't play a lot. Yeah. They got plenty of extra time still, so. Gonna make sure they do it right here. I'm curious what Swinomon is gonna play. They, like, what, what hero is there? They CD kind of has to be in the short lane, so there that removes options of putting like Varax's short lane or Wishslayer short lane or. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could go play Mag maybe or like Pharaoh, but he hasn't <laughs> played Pharaoh in ages. Yeah, that's not his anymore. <laughs> <laughs> maybe Pyromancer, but then. Uh, I don't know. Moraxis, I mean, he, he has played. Uh, that wouldn't be out of the question. This mid is kind of bad, though. Yeah. If you pick Moraxis, he needs, like, free farm in the short lane. How about, so you don't think he would go Deadwood? Aluna. After that nerf? I, I don't think Swiddle Melon thinks Deadwood's good enough anymore. Yeah. It can, it's just, 
I don't know. It's just so much harder to kill a hero. It's what was it like a 100 or 150 damage in her? He, yeah, especially at level one, it went from I think 350 to 225 at level yeah, one. Yeah, that's so. a big deal. Yeah, definitely, definitely got hurt there. And the later game, you can argue, is better because the strength. Being 30% of I think it evens out in yeah, the later true. game. Not that it's better. That's true. Yeah, because the damage is still nerfed at the later team too. So. Pyromancer, coming out for Lions. That definitely fits their style. So what is SG? I, I'm still have no idea what they're like. I, I really maybe Mag uh, Gauntlet could work, I suppose. <laughs> um, That'd be fun. Yeah, they already have the. That's true. Hmm. Maybe they'll put Lodestone mid and pick a suicide. Kraken. They're gonna release the Kraken here. Final game. They need some lockdown. They like they have one lodestone stone and a loot. They go with the deadwood. All, All right. right. So even after the nerfs, and I mean I, I agree with that. It's, he I, he no doubt got nerfed. It's I, I think that's hard to debate because if anything, deadwood shines in the early game, and they nerfed his early game. So pretty much speaks for itself. So, but uh, still figuring that best option here. Again, you can see where he's definitely thinking. What's Lion gonna finish with now? Um, they need a short leaner. Huey wants silhouette. Um, they need a hero that will do good versus Lowestone, but also fit in their lineup. Mm -hmm. And they already have a wretched hag as their long laner, so that that's kind of a hero that wants to farm and not like just go full gank. Like, um, <laughs> silhouette. Yeah. This lineup is pretty like trademark esportsy. <laughs> Like, you have two kind, like, you know how they would play it? They'd have, like, two hard carries. Like, yeah. they'd have a silhouette in the short lane and a hag in the long lane. Mm -hmm. Farm jungler. They just have a big weakness in their lineup. They have this stage in the game where hag and silhouette just don't provide that much. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking at something maybe like a sand wraith even at that point. But you don't really want to put sand wraith 1v1 versus a lodestone. Why not? I could do it. I mean, I could do it too versus uh, less skilled players, but um, <laughs> when you're anyone. playing, when you're playing a player that limps caliber, yeah. you need to have, especially when he's on lodestone, which is arguably like one of the, the second most OP hero in the game. <laughs> Who's the most OP? I don't. I don't think we need to have the discussion. It's a scout. No, I think it's prisoner, but uh, prisoner. Okay. Just throwing that out there, you know. Um, they look at Limp's items. They really want Limp to win top. Yeah, get him pulled the regen. <laughs> and Huey's not even pooled. Oh my god, this is gonna be so bad for him. This could also be bad if they're not careful. Tempest, he's gonna spot them though. He's gonna start running. You see Deadwood uh, charging in there with that log in hand, looking for an opening, but don't think it's gonna happen. Lines is spreading out like flies, and here come the Ward of Sights now. They're gonna block some camps here. Tempest gonna have a trouble time as a result. You see a rev ward down at the yellow camp. And they have a ward aside there. And now the last rev gonna be at the pole camp. Yep. So four camps blocked. The only one is a lane lane camp here. So um Legion pulled the limp, which is gonna make a huge difference. I think Chessy got pulled too. This is the strength of Ophelia as a hero. You literally need like two hundred golden items. Yeah. Or less. And you're you're like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll do my job. <laughs> And uh, as as you can see, Pewee is probably going to not do as well as top as they were expecting. And Hag got pulled, but I think he'll still lose pretty easily considering it's a Cup the Disciple, one of the strongest laners in the game. Mm -hmm. And look what Hanskin's doing. Huh, this is kind of strange. Well, I mean, his jungle did get heavily warded, so... Yeah, but you can counter ward it. Do they re really think Eshi's running an aggressive setup? It's... I don't see this working. Yeah, I don't think they think that it's just more so again. They're trying something different, but as you say, you could just kind of wear that, but you know, trying something different here. So we'll see. Oh, maybe no, not. Just... No, they thought, yeah. Or maybe oh. he's not. Oh, jeez. <laughs> he has to leave now. Oh, jeez. He's in a lot of. I mean, he's going to get a lot of pressure here. He's going to be forced to use some mana and some regen. He even takes a power throw. Holy crap. He drops low. But in the end, he's gonna be fine. So yeah, not a, not an ideal start for Tempest here. 
Is he gonna still even try to stick around? I think I think he just cut your losses at this point. It just didn't work. Go back to your own jungle, Rev Ward. Yeah, so they, you know, they have, they have a, a uh, walking courier, and if you look at all the wards, they're in, except for one, they're all like inside trees. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's actually that 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 could be the difference, man. I mean, he got one rev ward on him, but will he even counter ward it as a result? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Not even close. I did. Oh no, that's just so bad. Look at top. Look at Pewie's gold per minute. Oh my god. He's got one creep kill. It's one and one. He looks like he's doing. He's focusing a lot on lodestone now. He's focusing a lot on lodestone, pressuring him. It seems like. But, uh, so sacrificing some creep kills as a result of that. But as you see here, Lang getting pushed up. Lowstone did use his health potion already. As well as a couple of trees. But yeah, Silhouette is not having the best start for creep farm. All of, all across the board. I, I think it's safe to say they really need this Pebbles to have a fantastic time. <laughs> and he doesn't have Pebbles region either. On Peb oh, oh, no, actually he does. I thought he didn't for some reason. Yeah. Alright, my mistake. But. He's definitely getting out hit right now by Swindle Melon, just a little bit. Actually, no, he's not. Okay. Very close, yeah. Okay. Even battle right there, but yeah, they definitely are going to need to rely on him because Suicide Hag, as you said, against Corrupted Disciple, is a very strong laner. Don't expect him to have the best of time. The jungle situation for Tempest, he's literally has one camp to work with. He's going to get these other camps now at three minutes, finally, but. Already nerfed him quite a bit. Pebbles in the meantime. Pebbles gets caught here in the middle end. They'll go for the counter though. Here comes the skeleton game though. Super KG dropping. He throws in that shot. Kind of panic mode right there. He's going back in. He's going to end up falling. Big gank set up right there. Z Freak gets credit for the kill. Obviously, Ophelia Factor coming into play right there. To set that up. Not the start Lions was looking for. <laughs> Safe to say. Yeah, and um, Lotson just got his bottle now, so he should be able to stay on the lane for quite some time. Mm -hmm. He's even pushing it into his tower, so it'll be some easy CS with both her ass. Yeah. And uh, Jonas isn't doing too well bottom, but he is going to get some creeps in the tower. 270 gold per minute currently on Deadwood with that uh, that assist at least. Yeah, the kill went to Aluna, so early, early boots for her. She's actually sitting on 600 gold currently. Top lane, actually Lowstone going on Silhouette right here. Gonna apply some good damage, nearly getting the kill even. If uh, maybe one more auto attack with a head smash. That would have been really close right there, but... Silhouette does get away. How's the regen on Lowstone? He has his bottle now, yeah. I think... This Pewee has to ferry out regen, right? He can't even afford a bottle, he has to buy like... Which tree there is or something. Yep. Again, it's the Lions is going to need a lot of. They, they're they're going to need to really rely on their skill to come through this game because again, the, the way things are set up here, it is not uh, not the most appropriate. DD rune on Pyromancer. This could be a kill in the middle lane. Yeah, they're going for it. It very likely is going to be a final auto attack. Yes, it will. So they take advantage of him missing the double damage rune on Pyro as you talked about. Pebbles gets away as well. So he gets caught with the wrong grass. So that that's good for Lions. That's huge for Lions. Even they definitely needed something to go for them. This Pebbles, they need to win mid on Pebbles. They're losing both side lanes and the jungle. Though, Hanskin's actually not really losing the jungle anymore. It's it is too bad. This is a Tempest, and he does his Tempest things, and he's level 5. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> Someone's bitter. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he does just fine. Which is recovering, so, like I said, with the Rev Wards despawning and all these Ward of Sights, they're going to block here at the 5 minute, but, uh, Starting with the six minute, he, the camps will all be opening up here for Tempest, so he'll be able to really start uh, picking up that farm. Speaking of that, Ophelia is uh, also not doing too bad. 227 gold per minute. That's a Minotaur currently. Finds that Vagabond camp there, or the uh, Catman camp right there. Bottle on both Pebbles and Devwood, of course. Six minute we're going to be coming up. We'll see if any action occurs as a result of that. Man, Retrodact seems like he's taking some good harassment constantly. His uh, icon keeps popping up in the damage thing. Damage threshold. Yeah, Corrupted's up there in the charts. 16% overall. Silhouette's leading the way, because it's not too surprising, but... She's a uh, heavily harassing Limp up here. Yeah, it's just... If Limp had, like, probably one set less of region, he probably would have had to like, bury out more region and go back to base, so... Mm -hmm. Two sets of region definitely paying off in this game. Yeah. Those stone plates also paying off. Just what helps make him such an awesome suicide laner. 
Has a great getaway. Definitely stand his own with the plates. Has good burst potential for even kills. Ooh, Tempest, level 6, going in behind top. Oh, yeah. This is big. Can they execute it? It's the question. He has the ultimate. We'll use it right off the bat. There's the stuns coming out. He's not. He's just going to shatter storm. So great choice by Lip right there because minimal damage during this ultimate. And now he has the rocket drill. I'll tell you. Limp is amazing. A lot of people yeah. would have panicked right there, guaranteed. And gone for the rocket drill, so. I think he maybe even could have killed Hanskin if he just went for the safe play. Oh, middle lane. Ratchet Act comes in with the Invis. They take out Deadwood. That's a big gank, though, set up by Lions. Top lane didn't work, but middle lane works at least. But, uh, yeah, you thought even Loso could have got the turnaround there. Uh, he probably would have died for it, though. And he's already shutting down Pewie pretty hard, so it's probably not worth it. Yeah. Oh, big tower pressure. Don't put it in deny range, though, if you're not going to get it. Eh, there you are, it looks like. <laughs> the thing is, pushing this tower really isn't good because Pewie won't have anywhere. The Either Tempest has to stop farming or Pewie has to stop farming. So, Laughable. it's not even worth it. Plus a tower deny. Yeah. That's, I mean, this this is the grand finals of Cycle 3. You can't be making, you know, decisions like that. Just just to be frank, I mean, pushing a tower like that, like you said, whether, whether or not it's even worth pushing. To push it like that and then put it in deny range and fall back, I mean. Sure, good play by Limp ultimately by boxing them out and being threatening, I guess, but... Can't do that if you're Lions. Yeah, it's Dark just kill. like, look, now, Silhouette's in the jungle. That It's basically reducing both their farm. Yeah. But, um... Anyways, the Lions is doing a great job in the middle lane. Super KG has 100 GPM on Swindle Melons, so he's definitely going to hit that portal key that much faster if um, nothing is done about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's, again, that's really what Lions is constantly looking at. I'm sure they're keeping in chat. What's your GPM at? How much gold do you have <laughs> saved up? That's, uh, that's what they're going for. Jonas a fan. <laughs> in the middle Charlie lane as well. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's like, I want a couple of creep kills. He's gonna go for the top rune. Nope, that's actually already picked up. Looks like it's uh, was a refreshment rune top. I think the rune was bought. I'm not sure who got it, but in the end, somebody did. Dead would have got the illusion rune. There you go. He's actually gonna beat with it a little bit. See what he gets as far as information goes. Oh, the rotten grass hit pebbles, but just set of range. He has his falcon punch ready. This is just we oh Luna. Yeah, Luna's in trouble. trouble. Hack chasing. Dragon fire. Not gonna hit. Oh, just misses. Zeefrick dodged it. And now Wretched Hack might be in a little bit of trouble. Gets caught by the rotten grass. Low zone even comes in. And down goes Wretched Hack. Falcon Punch was used. Pyromancer gonna fall as well. Stay green capitalizing. The chase a little bit too much by Lions. Oh, and the counter ward by Zeefreak. Um, Pyromancer placed the ward in fog. But the thing is, he saw the ward and then he died without having the ward. And it was pretty easy oh, to... Wow, yeah. Add things up. <laughs> Do the math and figure something's not right here. So stay green. Big momentum boost for them, and now they're pushing the bottom lane here. This should be a free tower kill. In fact, the you can see someone using the illusion to pull the creep wave to help them out a little bit more right there. And they're gonna keep going. Wretched Agus here. Oh wow, yeah. Down goes oh, Silhouette. No. That's huge once again. And Silhouette's one of these heroes that can't function with minimal farm. He needs to be at 400, 500 GPM to be doing his job. Yeah. And this is, is almost looking to be another Moon Queen game from Pewie, and something has to be done about it. And it's really fast. He needs to get kills or get a ton of farm, stacks or anything. Else. But something has to be done. Bottom tower pressure, secondary tower that is. They're still hanging around. You see Wretched Ag just joining us a fan living life on the edge a little bit, but knows they don't have the most stuns coming out there, so. Kind of just pushing it back as much as possible. Invis room going to be bottled up by Pebbles here. He's, he's going for that build up, so gets the power supply here on top of the bottle and steam boots. Next will probably be the probably be the portal key though. He might get vestments, but if he doesn't get vestments, that means he's a lot easier to gank. So um, it does leave him a small opening to get ganked without getting vestments, but it's a risk, you know. If I like, get the portal key in time, you yeah. know. So I think they need to take it here. Yeah, this, this game is just already. It's, to an extent, kind of getting out of hand here for State Green, so... I think you go, kind of, got to reach a little bit. It's 500 gold investment in those vestments that... Uh, would set you off of your portal key, so... Tempest has an Invis rune, he's coming bottom right here. He's trying to look for a, an opening his hand skin, but... From the looks of it on the mini-map, not going to find it. You see Corrupted Disciples actually just pulling right here, only a single stack, but... 
Just trying to get some lane position back somewhat. Tempest going to the middle lane, though. There's a Revort here. Uh oh, Tempest running into a trap. Tempest in a lot of trouble. He opens first, though, so Devil going to be open on. Uh, uh, wow, Pebbles coming in as well. Ports are here, though, for State Green. Tempest gets turned on. He just got two locked down. All five are here for State Green. And now they're going to push as a result, so. Anska trying to be useful with that Invis rune, but kind of backfires there. And that's gonna be a tower kill. I'd like to see them give this tower to Ophelia to help them a lot with getting into Astrolabe in the next team fight. Yeah. And, uh, <sighs> things are just looking really good for State Green. Oh, I guess Dead was also a good choice so he can get his Blink Dagger. Mm -hmm. And Pebbles is hiding there. It looks like Lines want to do something, but Tempest is dead. They don't have positioning. I don't think they can fight this. Middle tower dropping. And that should be an easy tower kill. Yeah, it definitely will be. Double is kind of staring. Like, tower. Oh, we're just gonna watch it fall, I guess. Gonna get the creeps though as they push in. So yeah, silhouette making use of that time at least to a little bit. Only 260 gold per minute though, so definitely not threatening at the same time. She has an energizer, but in this next team fight, you're gonna see um, Astrolabe probably not. Actually, I wonder, will Stay Green look to keep team fighting or will they just farm up the portal fee on Deadwood? Yeah. I guess, um, I guess both decisions are fine. They could keep farming up and just use map control to just out resource control of the Lions team. Yeah. You see here, I mean, they're doing triple stack ancients with Deadwood. They're trying to get him that enhanced farm. He's taking a good amount of damage, but in the end, he wins up most of them at least. Supports take a couple there at the end, but. Yeah, I think, I think they are just going to wait for the portal key. Mm-hmm. And that gives Ophelia Astrolabe, so that's going to be good in team fights. Aluna has steam boots, yeah. I think. Super KGE. They need to they need to fall on his back a little bit right here, just like they did for Jonas Van last game. Super KGE this time around on Pebbles. He has that portal key coming up here shortly. But you look at the Legion team. Even Aluna already has steam boots. So. Uh, and with the Ophelia heal as a factor, yeah. that's another 200 HP buffer. So, unless he has like backup, it's going to be he's going to be hard pressed to get a lot of solo kills in the uh, in this early game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. So, kind of negates that portal kill a little bit. Still, hop absolutely necessary, of course, and picks it up right there. But again, when and where will he be able to make use of it? There's that Astrolabe purchase. You're referring to on Ophelia. 1,700 gold on Lowstone, so Limp is getting close to that portal key now. On himself, and Jesse actually picking up the Mighty Blade here, so he's not looking to play aggressive. He's just, that's also more of a point that they're going to be looking for those team fights now, most likely. Once he gets that well, Shark Head finished. Yeah, well, I don't think they're waiting for Shark Head. They're just waiting for the portal keys and then the Luxury team fight. But it's just part of the buildup, and uh, a Shark Head is really good versus the Hellborn heroes. Yeah. Every hero is mostly magic damage at this stage of the game, except for the silhouette. So it'll make him pretty much, if he gets the Shark Head off in team fights, he just can't die, yep. more or less. Portal key just picked up by Lodestone. Middle lane. Those are just really illusions, kind of. Oh, Pewie could be in place. trouble top. He didn't get, he didn't see it. Yep, there's the initiation, and there's the dead silhouette. That's a level two shadow storm as well. It's a massacre! Middle lane, they are gonna engage though. Looks like Devil's gonna end up dropping. Gets the Falcon Punch off Josh shortly after, but at least stalling a little bit right here. In comes Lodestone, and down goes Tempest. We do see Pyromancer trying to run still, but probably not. Well, actually, had smash hits, and she will survive, so we're gonna be fine. Pebbles portal keys away in time before he gets, uh, eventually slain over here. One fight though overall though for State Green, both between the top and the middle lane of what happened. So Corrupt the Disciple continuing his farm. They could even open up a Congor tent maybe. They'll, they're gonna steal the Ancients no, at the very least. No, they're just gonna get the Ancients. Congor yeah. would take way too long and forcing a fight there isn't even worth it at this yeah. stage of the game. But uh, they still don't have the Deadwood portal key, so that's good for Lions, but they, they did lose a couple other key heroes in the Tempest and the Silhouette, and they just have to delay this game out for as long as possible. Once uh, SG decide to say, let's go team fight, they either, they either have to crush that team fight, mm -hmm. or they have to just not get picked off, and they have to trade towers and just try to take this into the late game. Yeah. Man, oh man, stay green. Again, on the verge of finishing runner up here in cycle number three, and here they are, several games later, on the verge of 
Oh, top lane. Deadwood could be in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, Deadwood has been collapsed on here. You got Pebbles, Hag, and it looks like Pyromancer, but he knows something's up. Clear cutting through the trees. Oh, Pebbles Blink Dagger was on cooldown for three seconds, and if that had been up, that might have been a kill, yeah. unfortunately. Couldn't get the uh, precise timing down, so. He has to fall back for now, but he's nice. thinking about going back in, actually. Oh, here we go. There, find the opening. Devil's going to be jumped. He's just shy of that portal key. He has some mystic vestments and steam food, so he's tanky. Is he tanky enough? Is that question? Loso with the assistance. He will fall, but now here's Loso. Loso and his border. Both from the side, off the side. Electric tied. Pebbles gets the portal out. Just before. There's the big tab. It's all the way down goes Loso. Corrupted a Siphon. Taking a good amount of damage. Can they kill him as well? The Death Lotus may be. The Death Lotus Knight misses, actually. Down goes Tempest. Silhouette on the run. Silhouette splits up right there, hoping to get away. The tree grapple speed buff. She is going to be fine for now. Power throw connects, though. The rotten grasp would have hit anyways. And that's how the fight will end. Stay green fights back, at least. Buyback? Yeah, buyback. Go yeah, on. it was a buyback by Swinna Mullins. It was looking to be a really good fight for Lions, but Swinna Mullins used the early game buyback, and he turned it around. So the losses were... Pr it, it was like an even trade, pretty yeah. much. Except they get a tower kill, so I guess it's a win. If they get this tower, actually they might not get the tower, we'll see. Mm. Do we have any mini TPs? No, no TPs. Legion takes Pebbles. down a Hellborn tower! Oh, right, never mind, he's here. Uh, he is nearby, and he's still hanging around actually. Him and Pyromancer are going to look for an opportunity. They do jump in the background onto Luna, go for the combo. Yeah. Down goes Luna, he missed Ophelia though. He missed Ophelia with the stalagmites, and now Ophelia is turning this around. You see the dragon fire set us on the creeps. They're going for the burst on Ophelia. Ophelia's got all in right here, trying to get the kill to Pebbles. Bottle charge is coming off. He oh chucks the creep, though, gets the kill. But the minions are still here. Triple Minotaur, they have no mana, sir? though. And yeah, there we go. Pyromancer, holy crap, he is being surrounded. Jeez, he's going to be fine. Double tap for Super KGE. Finish that off. So again, at least a positive note for Lions there to finish it off. Yeah, uh, arguably Ophelia could have just said, let Pebbles live and gone for Pyromancer, and he probably would have lived, but he yeah. made a decision, and it didn't work out. Oh, <laughs> nice snipe. Oh, what I oh wow, yeah. <laughs> See, okay, gets picked up. And that was from base, too. That was like a... That was good timing. Vertical snipe. That's pretty hard to hit. Yeah. Good timing right there from Z-Freak. Picks him off. He can adjust the support, so that was a silhouette or something like that. Middle lane, I think he's gonna press the R. Actually, maybe no. No, he's not. Okay. He's gonna press R. <laughs> I, it looked press like R. it for a second. Yeah. Shrunken head uncorrupted. Just got it. Being delivered right here, at least. Pebbles, Souls Bulwark or Shrunken Head for him? What do you think? Uh, Bulwark because they need team items to deal with the Deadwood Punch. They need the armor. Uh, they have played the Greaves on, on um, Tempest, so that's a good start, but they need to build up the armor. Yeah. And the magic... Outside of Lodestone, the magic damage isn't too much from SG, so if they can just try to not get like too uh, destroyed by Lodestone as a team, just like maybe one or two people. Mm -hmm. Speaking of armor, played the Greaves on Tempest, Sackstone actually just finished by Hag. So. I guess... Having Sackstone and play to Greaves is kind of a waste, but the thing yeah. is, both those heroes need the ar the five armor that it gives you exactly, to stay yeah. alive. So it's more for individual, if anything. But uh, and you know, for the when they happen to not be together at that time, so there still is a use. But yeah, technically, you usually wouldn't want to do that. But maybe the game for that Souls Bulwark picked up by Pebble, so answer that question and makes sense there again. Stacking that armor seems like they're uh, they're looking to do that here. It looks Lions is looking for a play in the bottom lane. They've warded it up a little bit. They're going to get five down there, I think. So, portal key on Silhouette. <laughs> Skeleton King going to find Pebbles here, I believe. That's unfortunate. Pebbles is trying to be sneaky, but Skeleton King finds him, and oh, he's going to barely save the Skeleton King, too. Couldn't even kill it. I don't think back. Lions want to take a team fight. Uh, well, they do. They want <laughs> They're thinking about going in right here, so... <laughs> They're looking for the chance. Split up from Wretched Hag. Gonna try to maybe bait something. You see Lowstone jumping in. Lowstone coming in. He has a double damage rune. Wretched Hag, they realize quickly that that is not a fight they want to take. Wretched Hag's still in trouble. Oh, Wretched Hag's gonna get killed. Backhanded. And the tower got denied. Yeah, Jonas kind of blinked away from his team there. If you blink to the right, maybe you didn't know um, Sundo was there, but you should still blink to your team. Out. Yeah. Or you could have blinked across into the Ancients. Just uh, kind of a bad blink there. 
gets caught out. And State Green, another kill to the books. 11 to 7 hero kill lead. 7,400 gold lead though. Experience is pretty identical, but we've got uh, Corrupted Disciple again, already another 1,000 gold saved up. Pebbles is still hanging around here. They're they're gonna try to set up a flank, but they don't even have the full numbers here just yet. Pebbles still off to the side. You see up here the jump on a pyromancer, pyromancer blazing strike on a lodestone. That was desperate. In the back of Corrupted Disciple being combo but Will they have the follow up? Shortcut had activated, and now Pebbles on the run. His team cannot get to him. He's being locked down. He's gonna be stopped for the TP. He goes down. Wretched Act blinks in right here. As she, or she ports it even. Silhouette putting in the auto attack. Right now Pebbles dead has no buyback as well as pyromancer. It is a five versus three right here in favor of State Green. And they're going to start regen, and that, again, was just an awkward decision by Lions. I don't know about that. Kinda. Uh, the thing is, Lions is a team that just likes to team fight. They don't like to give up their towers, but the thing is, they're drafting in a way where they kind of have to, and it just doesn't make sense. And on top of being the, the losing position the in the Legion game... takes down a Hellborn Tower! Oh. <laughs> Jephag, Bron, Grasp, jeez. Barely, barely missed. It's actually close to landing, but yeah, I, the decision of team fight. But again, you were at a numbers disadvantage at that point. Pebbles hung around that whole time, thinking that he can get a good flank off. But even when he jumped, you know they weren't able to support him. So it was just an odd decision making being made by Lion Esports Club, really. Coming out right there, and here we are, 22 and a half minutes, and there's a firebrand purchase now corrupted. So his farm gonna start getting bigger and better. Which means bigger and better items, of course. I don't know if we talked about this yet, but Silhouette choosing to go the portal key, by the way, for his first uh, item. They wanted to take a team fight, yeah. and um, that's why you go portal key, so you can use your hero effectively in the team fights. You do a lot more damage with the portal key as Silhouette, just because you get to use all your salvo charges. Yeah. But it does open you up a lot if you initiate. You don't really have any defensive items. Oh, see right here, you're gonna use that portal key to find Z Freak, who uh, was just simply. Running around and or what he was doing actually, he didn't even have any wards on him. He so. was counter warding with the gem. Oh, he had, he had the bound eye, that makes sense. Luckily for them, the bound eye is on cooldown, so they won't be able to sweep any awards right now. Hmm. But it's a big loss, that's a 1k gold swing. And then count. you have Ancients, which is a 2k gold swing, if you add it up. So a big pick from Lion Esports Club. Speaking of towers, they got two tower kills so far, they're thinking about a third, it looks like. Some good pressure on it. Good. Both towers were denied, though, if I'm not mistaken. So that's something else to keep in mind. Mm -hmm. Even though they were actually still dead. So and we went back to the jungle. It looks like Hag's going for the shrunken head. So this is just kind of the problem of picking Hag and Silhouette on the same team. Yeah. Hag, Hag has gone one defensive item in the sack stone, so it's against like a dead one. To another defensive item, he's not really adding any utility items to the team right now. And then you have a silhouette who needs to build for himself too. So it's just um, they just need to delay this game out, and yeah. they really need to stop team fighting. They can go for hero kills. That's good. That's great. They just can't do five v five engagements right now. Yeah. Well, State Green gonna maybe test them right here. They're kind of moving as a gank squad, as a team, even all five of them. The trains are coming. They're looking for somebody. Tempest. He's the closest target, but he's not in the best spot either, so... Not gonna find it, and they'll probably just adjust to the top lane and push in the last tower eventually. In the meantime, as you were just stating, if you're Lions, avoid that at all costs. <laughs> and just get farm elsewhere, so it seems like uh, they're kinda doing that here. Pebbles has a regen in bottle, though. Gonna farm up the Legion jungle here, even get a triple stack here. But, uh, Wretched Hag just pushing out the bottom lane, that shrunken head. Still being worked on. Silhouette, did she buy something? Nope, not yet. No, I don't think so. 1900 gold saved up still. Do you think she needs to just rush into that shrunken, or can she go the fire? Uh, I really don't know. I, I think she needs to do damage, but she probably won't do damage if she doesn't get a defensive item in the shrunken head. Always that tough place. I catch 22 to me in. Okay. Yeah. This looks like a tower trade, which is great for lions. Yeah, I was gonna say, this seems like it could be good for them. So. The Hellborn takes down a Legion Tower! That tower anyway, the so there's the last tower. tower. Now, uh, question is, how much longer do they go here? They're gonna keep going, it looks like. Will Stay Green react, or will Lions react? You see, uh, Deadwood up there in the trees, they're gonna start pushing. We have a little bit of a race going on right here, nobody blinking first just yet. 
Tower is going to fall on either side. If Vulnerability is coming out, that's dude's first. There's one TP. Lowstone's running back. Lowstone's going to be jumping here shortly, most likely. Stay green. They're going to... Oh, all of them don't have TPs, actually. There goes a jump from Lowstone. The Pebbles gets jumped. Salagmite's coming out. Barb Jarmus up. In the background, Devils gets gone up. But now Pebbles dropping quickly. He's going to eventually fall. And the Hellborn team completely trying to get the hell on out of there. Power Mantic goes down. Silhouette just tree grapples away. Wretched Ag, she cannot blink anymore. Ultimate She's going to end up falling. Down. Too much damage coming out from Crook the Disciple. And he gets a double tap. Now, they do win that exchange, though, in a sense. They got the Melee Racks. And they did not lose theirs. Uh, so, it's kind of strange. Getting a Melee Racks helps you post postpone the game. But losing hero kills means you're, you're losing gold on your heroes. And it means your team fight capability is going down. Yeah. So... It's good in the sense if they can just delay the game and having the racks is good for them, but in the short term, it's not good for them. It looks like we're going to see a shrunken on PU. Never mind. He <laughs> had yeah, 3,900 gold right there. And he buys a firebrand into a Neophytes what? book. He's going Searing Light. Is he really going Searing Light? At this point, yeah. I don't know if he can... Mm. If he can afford to do that. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with you 100%. That seems a little bit desperate. That seems a little bit over, like... You're, you're behind, buddy. Yeah, that's not going to work. In fact, we're going to be behind right here. We see a jump onto Wretched Ag. Wretched Ag going to need to try to get away. She is going to be fine for now. Silhouette running into the trap, though. They cut her off. Pebbles goes in. They need to try to turn this around. Puts an auto attack, but down goes Silhouette. And again, he just bought those items. Maybe he should have not bought the Neophytes, but good to buy back right now. Anyway, Tempest Ulti is canceled immediately. Pyromancer gets a decent Dragonfire stun. But the damage has already been done by Stay Green right here. And they're going to push them back. There's the Falcon Punch to take out Pyro. And now back into Kong where they go. Pebbles and Wretched Egg are still here. But can they actually win this fight? So, yeah, I, I got to uh, agree with you, though. Pee-wee's making some interesting decisions here. Oh, uh, what's going on? Well, are they going to fight here? It looks like they kind of are. Devil's chasing, actually. Oh, he lands the rotten grasp. He ran back into it. And now he's in trouble. The Electro Tide connects. And he ends up falling, so they get another pick on top of that. And now this is definitely going to be Congor. And Jonas even bought back before that, so he's literally going to have no items, no item progression for a very long time. Um, but in terms of Huey going for the Syrian Life route, maybe he's thinking, well, I have to do damage, and it's the only way I'm going to do damage is if I get a Dawnbringer. But it, it's basically a risk. Here. And I, it's, I guess it's a fine, oh, if I, uh, Yeah, Pebbles does jump corrupt, but Lowstone, the quick reaction, look at that counter burst by Stay Green right there. Pebbles just dropped massacre. as soon as he got countered oh, on. Silhouette sure. comes in, Tempest gets picked up, and it is just falling to pieces here. Now, Corrupted Disciple will be picked up, at least, by Silhouette, but Silhouette drops shortly after. And now there goes Pyromancer. So, again, another buyback. It looks like Pebbles buyback. Conger is still alive. Lion Esports Club doing everything. They are desperate right now to make anything happen. Pebbles jumps in a little too early, though. So does Wretched Hack. They're going for hero kills. Barb Jarmus up. Pebbles uses combo already. He's going to go explode it. Aluna stays alive. Wretched Hack goes down. There it is. Stay green. Stay green takes cycle number three. Holy crap. What a way to finish. They take cycle number three, but they made it very. Very interesting. They lived life on the edge. So many series here in cycle number three, but they come back in the grand finals after being down two games to nothing, and they take out Lion Esports Club and win the series three games to two. Stay green. They are your cycle three champions. Sender, what happened? In that game or in the series? In the game, Which, we'll start the with game? That. All right, the game. Uh. A lot of it is on the top lane. They pulled two sets of regen to Lodestone. He won his lane. He did a lot of work for his team. They, I think they outdrafted Lions a little bit. And also, I don't think Lions played their lineup as they should have. And when you pick that kind of lineup where you go hag silhouette, you, you don't take team fights. It's just as simple as that. You get hero kills that are 100% free with no losses. You don't take team fights. And they, they just played their lineup wrong, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I think a lot of it, again, it goes back to, for me, <laughs> of Lion Esports Club, you could tell, after that, okay, so going into, what was it, game number two, they picked up the Tremble, you know, they, they went that lineup, they tried something a little bit different, didn't work out, but, you know, you were making the point, yeah, I could definitely see that, Lion's like, okay, we're up to nothing, we're in a comfortable style, let's just try something, see if it works, if it doesn't, 
we're still in a good spot. It didn't work. That next game, though, game three, they have a lead for basically the whole game. And then they, they you know, decisions being made weren't the best. Melon's, uh, Melon's got his troops together. Let's say Green back to victory and force that final game. And, and the final game, I think, was arguably the most lopsided of all the games, honestly. I mean, uh, State Green first, was strong from the beginning. I think the first game might have been more lopsided, actually. True. That's, uh, yeah, that's true. Lions actually did look very good in that first game. That is true. I but, don't, uh, State Green rallied. I, I don't know what it is, but they somehow rallied through in that sec. what, the third game? Yeah. The third game. And they just caught Lions off guard. And that that was the game winner. And also, at some point in the drafting phase, Swindle Mullins started prioritizing Lodestone as his uh, number one. Yeah. And I think that was a big deal, actually, because they kept winning their off lane. That uh, that guy in the long lane kept making big work. They stopped losing their short lane because of that. How they they were they were um, valuing CD and um, Lodestone as re really high picks, and that me meant they kept winning their side lanes. Yeah. All right, I'm actually going to bring on, uh, we have definitely going to interview after that one. I'm going to bring on Limp here from State Green. Give him a call right now. Get him on, talk about that uh, that series as a whole. I'm Hello? sure they're feeling good. Limp! Hey, yo. Hey, how you feeling? I'm all good. How about you? I'm pretty good. I yeah, would think you're probably even better, though. Some fun games, <laughs> yeah. Holy crap, yeah. man. I mean, that series. What, what? So what's the deal? You guys just feel like living life on the edge this whole cycle or something? Going going the distance every single series, basically? I mean... Yeah, you know, like last cycle's boring. I have to, like, change it up. <laughs> no, but... I mean, teams are catching up, definitely. So yeah. it's it's m more interesting now, for sure. Is it... Okay, you say more interesting. Is, is it more fun as a competitor? Or would, uh, do you like it, you know, where you just stomp everyone? Uh, well, it's, I mean, it's always fun to w win, so I can't say anything about that, but like, yeah. for me at least, I get to play more fun here this, this cycle, but I don't know, the, it's always, yeah, it's fun with more competition as well, but you know, you want to win still, but it's a tough question. <laughs> yeah, I could definitely see where you're coming from. All mm. right, let's, let's talk about the series. Okay, so first off, you're already coming in down one game to nothing. Yeah. Lions takes the first game. Uh, Super KGE, he had a great game on Devour. I mean, it was well played by Lions, you would say? Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're always scared about getting hook heroes against us when Super KGE is playing. So, yeah, they, they're they playing really well. Stepped up their game this cycle, for sure. Yeah. Game two, though, so all, you lose that game. You're down 2 nothing. First off, uh, whether it's or whether you yourself are just, what was the attitude like after you're down 2 nothing for you guys? Uh, we, like, we discuss things, of course, but we always try to keep the morale high. It might have been a bit lower at that point, but mm -hmm. we always try to, like, keep the mood up. And, yeah, I don't know. We just try to, like, convince ourselves we're going to win. Yeah all times well it, it happened in the end <laughs> so, yeah <laughs> uh, but off. okay so you're down to nothing you're going to that third game even in that or the second game excuse me even in that second game you guys were you were down for i don't even know if you, you realized that yourselves but you were basically down the whole game yeah 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 i was i was really worried that game i might have i might have thought we lost that but yeah you know we pulled through <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Hey, well, was there any point in that game? Maybe I mean, because we we actually saw a pot. Oh, there was there was a couple of pauses. One on a restart that uh, that Lions had to do, but there was another one later on that you guys actually paused. Was did, uh, was yeah. that like a strat pause? No, no, no. Sea uh, Freak and uh, Swindle both crashed in that fight just just when we had killed them. And... No, this was before that. This was oh, before oh, oh. that. Was that before? Yeah. Well, before there, the I, genocide. I at think so. Then, I think oh. there was a random pause that came out. You got you just said like sec, and then you came back like a minute later. I'm pretty sure that was when we just genocided them. All right. I think they cra I think they crashed and we just paused for them, but they yeah. luckily luckily won that fight before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That we I do remember that. That was actually I saw that happen. I was like, well, that, if that happened ten seconds earlier, maybe that fight was completely different. But yeah. Sure enough. It actually worked out for you guys. So, okay, you get through that game, you move on to the next one. Um, you had to face the Devo again. So, 
you faced the Devo in that third game. Were you, were you once again worried? At, at, or did you guys have a plan this time against the Devo? <sighs> Uh, I guess I soloed against him mid this game. Yeah. Was it? That was yeah, yeah your load's done. Yeah. So yeah, we I think we tried to like not duel him and feed against him like we always do, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I believe we went aggressive bot to prevent the Moon Queen from farming. So yeah. that was basically our plan. And yeah, Chessy got pretty dominated top, but he managed at the end. He did. Pulled through, and as a team, he pulled through. And then the final game, we saw right there. Uh, it seemed like, I'm sure you guys were on a high. Lion Esports Club, I, I, I think it's safe to say they were probably a little bit demoralized themselves. I mean, they just lost two games after being up 2 nothing. You guys looked really strong in that final game. I mean, you guys feel really yeah. good in that third game, or the final game? Yeah, yeah we told ourselves, or Kyle told us before before these games, like if we, if we make two two games, I think we, it's like 100% win the last game and our last game we pretty much dominated. Yeah, the, yeah it was was really good morale boost after that win. How powerful is Lodestone? Lodestone, I mean, he's, he's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's, it's he's just decent. because you're a really good player <laughs> is why you're able to dominate with him. Yeah, yeah. I mean. <laughs> Skill speaks for itself. He, he's got nerves, so I mean, he. I think he needs yeah, to Yeah, exactly. He got some nerves, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. He's fine. Don't touch him. It's uh, all good. Yeah, no. Yeah. It seemed like he had a pretty high win percentage for you guys, and just in general, too, lately, so. Yeah, we we valued, valued him pretty highly the last game. Yeah. After these games, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. And look at the stat screen right here. 6 1 and 11. Limp, you, you've, been a, you've been doing great this, like, uh, this season in general. Not that you weren't doing great in season one, but you've been you've been fantastic season two. I think even more people have been recognizing your name. How was it like playing the suicide role compared to where you more of the ganker last season? I mean, in the beginning, it was it's really hard because I am a pretty aggressive player, so I died a lot. But yeah. when I like gotten into it now, it's really fun to be the underdog and just like you. In the last game, I got pretty many kills on their carry and. Yeah, it's, it's fun to be the underdog and be able to make big plays. Yeah. Who's, uh, <laughs> you think, uh, who's better, you or Chessy? Well, we play different roles, but I'm pretty sure I'm better than Chessy. And what, you, ha you guys have definitely <laughs> 1v1 before, I'm sure. Uh, it, it was a long time ago. We used to 1v1 each other quite a lot, but I think we have to go do it in a stream. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think it's show match. Yeah. In your future, I think we gotta set that up. <laughs> what happened with the show matches? Well, we'll work that out. We'll work that out. <laughs> yeah. I'm looking forward to that. All right, um, Sender, do you have any questions for for Limp? Uh, just uh, after game one, I saw that you guys switched your drafting up just a little bit. I'm pretty sure that you valued Lodestone as your number one instead of heroes like Engineer and Tempest. Yeah. Do you know if that's true or not, or that might be true? I okay. cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> uh, I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Don't want to give away strats. Come on, you've won three cycles. Give everyone okay, else a chance. Okay, yeah, I, we valued Lowson pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was pretty obvious, I mean. So yeah, that's really he's, a secret. He's pretty decent. Yeah. Gonna see another nerf soon, I guess. We'll see, I mean, yeah, I already took something. We'll see if he gets more. I mean, the hero's definitely yeah. powerful. Speaking of, speaking of nerfs, I mean, what about Prisoner? Yeah, What, what do you think of that hero? Oh, yeah, that... He's he's pretty OP. I mean, I don't know. He's 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 so hard to win against two versus two lane. Yeah. With prisoner, I mean, it's like auto win if you don't play a curse. That is. What do you think about so going back to your, your victory here? Would you say this is your guys's? Is this, is this the best feeling victory out of all the cycles so far? First three. Uh, yeah, I think that's safe to say. Yeah. It's a really good feeling. True. You, you guys really, it's, it's amazing. I mean, just looking at the brackets, it, you guys had you had this series go the distance. You had 2 to 1 against Team USA, 2 1 against IG, 2 1 against Excellent, 2 1 loss yeah. against Lions, and then you even <laughs> dropping him to a nice prize pool in the first round. What, what happened there? I didn't... Uh, yeah, we, we kind of threw, but it worked out. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Teams are like practice, practicing really hard and yep. stuff now, and that's good. We, I think, we should have lost to Excellent or IG in <laughs> one of those games. 
But yeah, hey. teams are getting better. Champions sure. win the tough games. That's yeah. what you guys did. That's what you guys did. So again, definitely another congratulations, <laughs> um, Limp. Any shoutouts you. you want to make here? Uh, shout out to my team and uh, shout out to your shit chassis. That's, that's it. <laughs> the fighting words are out. Yep. It's gonna be an amazing event. Can't wait for, <laughs> for that. Sure. All right, Limp, appreciate it, man. Great work as always. A big congratulations on the win. I'm sure it feels Thank great. You. Congrats, yeah, man. Yeah, it feels good. There you go. Limp joining us uh, with the interview there for uh, from Stay Green even. So feeling good as expected. And uh, they take cycle number three. Sender, the day has hey. come to an end. Finally. Yes, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Seven hours, man. We we went the distance not only both today but both yesterday. I mean, again, this 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 weekend we we knew it was going to be a great weekend going into it of Heroes of New Earth, but I don't even think I expected this great. I mean, this was just an amazing, amazing weekend for Heroes of New Earth. So, any any final thoughts about this whole weekend? I mean, today even just anything else in general for you? Uh, just can't believe I casted seven games. That was so draining. <laughs> exactly. More draining than playing on Saturday or another. You know, like when I play for you know two bo three, so that was intense. Yeah. It's fun to watch, though. It's fun to watch. Hey, with that said, I appreciate you joining me as a co-caster. I mean, the co-caster helps, and uh, definitely gave some good insights. So I appreciate that. Um, any shout-outs you want to make? Uh, give a shout out to my team ing social media sender with four R's. <laughs> and lastly, shout out to Brendan, who Z Freak, and the Island. There you go. That's it. There you go. That is it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are finished. We are finished for today. One more time, big congratulations to Stay Green. They do make the comeback yet again, and they take out Lion Esports Club in the grand finals. Three games to two. So they have won all three cycles. No, no doubt. And even as Slim pointed out there, even though they ended up winning this cycle, I mean, the teams are clearly getting better and better around them. So uh, who knows what cycle four holds for us. But uh, once again, stay green. They are the cycle three champions. So another big congratulations to them. Uh, guys, as far as things coming up tomorrow... Uh, I know it even says 12, but I believe we're planning for 1 o'clock. So tomorrow we are going to be coming back. We do, we were planning to do a podcast tomorrow at 1 p.m. Eastern, uh, 1900 Central European time. We'll talk about all this weekend as well as a couple other things, I'm sure. Uh, on top of that, we're also going to be doing a replay cast of the Sound Blaster Heroes League Southeast Asian uh, Qualifier 1 Finals between Orange Esports and... Uh, and DC Fabulous, I believe it was. So that'll be best out of three. That'll be a replay cast that we'll do tomorrow after the podcast. That should be fun. So definitely look forward to tuning in to that tomorrow. Tune into Honcast.com itself. Great content constantly going up. I, I promise you. I mean, Beef has done a, fa a fantastic job of really upkeeping the site as far as articles go, especially as far as content. So and all the writers that we got. So definitely check out daily even on Honcast.com for all that content. And then on top of all that.